The coastal town of Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh is one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. Around Gong, the region is known for this amazing unbroken 125 kilometer long sandy beach. The words holiday and Cox's Bazaar go hand in hand and its residents are quite accustomed to a laid-back lifestyle. You don't find too many cricketers emerging from this part of Bangladesh, but one individual decided to swap the beaches for a cricket pitch over a decade ago and hasn't looked back since. For left-hander Momin ul Haq, unwinding at the picturesque surroundings his hometown had to offer was never going to be his calling. All he wanted to do was play cricket for a living and emulate his idol. When I was younger, I used to follow Sachin Tendulkar, especially the way he batted. Sachin was already a splendid cricketer. Watching him in action, I started to realize that I really wanted to play like him. When he moved to Dhaka from Cox's Bazaar back in 2004, Mominul was sent here to the BKSP, the country's biggest sports institute. Following in the footsteps of his teammates, Mushfiqur Rahim and Shakib Al Hassan, Mominul honed his skills at the BKSP and grew into a dependable top order batsman, making his first class debut in the 2008 2009 season. I'm extremely grateful to BKSP. Whatever I've earned today came true because of my time there. If I was not part of the BKSP, I would have stayed on in Cox's Bazaar and I would have never become a cricketer. Mominul was picked in the national squad for the ICC Under-19 Cricket World Cup in 2010 and earned a senior call-up in 2012 after notching up two impressive hundreds at first-class level. He eventually made his international debut in an ODI against the West Indies at Kulna and his maiden test outing came a few months later against Sri Lanka in Gaul, where he hit a half century. No matter what format it was, I remember the moment when I got that national call-up. But the truth is, I wasn't very excited. I thought, yes, it's finally happening, and now I have to perform for a longer period. That's all. The way I see it, if you can play a good innings in your debut game, that's great. I really enjoyed my batting in my very first test match. Still in his early 20s, Mominul is slowly beginning to cement himself as Bangladesh's number three in test cricket. He averages well over 50 in this format and the numbers really do speak volumes. Despite having only played 17 test matches so far, he's notched up 50-plus scores in 11 consecutive tests, coming really close to A.B. de Villiers' mark of achieving a similar feat in 12 matches. I don't consider myself a top player. I feel embarrassed when people compare my test run with that of A.B. de Villiers. He is a great player. My hard work and persistence keeps me in the right track. I think luck is on my side, along with the blessings of God. While he's tasted a lot of success at test level, his ODI outings haven't really set the world alight. Just over 540 runs from 26 matches is not a good return. But that said, as a team, Bangladesh are flying high in this format. Bold in! Full and straight, the Bangladesh Tigers have knocked the England Lions out of the World Cup. This year has seen the Tigers beat England to make it to the quarter-finals of the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015, following which the team secured series wins against both India and South Africa at home. Off late, we're playing one-day matches very well, but we're not up to the mark on the test front. This is because we lack bowlers who can take 20 wickets in two innings. All the other big teams have such bowlers. As for me, I may need some more time as far as ODIs are concerned. I believe if I can keep playing well in the longer format of the game, that will help me a great deal 
when my chances come in the shorter versions as well. With their recent ODI triumphs, Bangladesh have already qualified for the ICC Champions Trophy in 2017. And it's safe to say these are exciting times for the national squad. And as far as Mohamed Haq is concerned, in just three years at the highest level, he's already shown that talent and dedication will take you places. Whether or not more national cricketers emerge from Cox's Bazaar remains to be seen. But whatever the future has in store, this young left-hander has certainly set the benchmark for the rest to follow.